Hello everyone, Denise here. Today I'm going to show you the stitch for Paying It Forward Friday, February 2024. This is the Cuddle With Me blanket. This is made, I made this one out of Red Heart Irresistible. Uh, Your Inspirations still has that on their website. The limited colors and a 15 millimeter hook. So you can use any yarn and any hook that you want and you can make any project flat. That's how the Paying It Forward Friday stitch worked flat works. You can make scarves, blankets, shawls, uh, fingerless gloves, or hats that you want to seam up and then cinch the hats. Uh, whatever project you want to make that is flat. Uh, dishcloths and washcloths are one of my favorites. So if you want to make up some adorable washcloths or dishcloths, this is a great stitch for it. So let's get started. I'm going to use a different yarn to show you how to do the stitch because this one's very difficult to show you on camera. So let's get with it. So to show you the stitch, I'm going to be using Yarn Bee's Easy Going. This is in the color sky uh, and a 5.5 millimeter hook. This yarn you can pick up at Hobby Lobby. It is really nice. 3.5 ounces, 175 yards. Color is sky, 160 meters. It is 60% acrylic, 40% polyamide. Calls for that eye hook and an eight US eight knitting needle. Medium weight four. So I really like this yarn. I think it's super soft. I have a really light pink and a cream color in this as well. And I haven't done anything with it yet, but I thought it would be a good color to show on camera the stitches because this stitch, it works with any yarn, of course, but this stitch is especially beautiful in a plain yarn. So if you have some plain yarns that you have been looking to maybe use up and sort of make them use, more useful, uh, I like using stitches that show a lot with the one color yarn. So I have a divot shelf here and you can purchase these on Amazon. These are really nice, really nice hooks. Um, they have different styles of them as well. This one is half wood and half resin or acrylic. I feel like it is a nicer quality than like a basic plastic hook for sure. And it's beautiful. So now this stitch pattern is in any, any multiple of two. And then once you have your multiple of two, go ahead and add two. So I just make a slip knot, wrap the yarn around my finger and pull the working yarn up through. That creates a an adjustable ring. So you can cinch it up. Multiples of two, it does not matter. This is just a swatch. So I'm just going to I don't know, do maybe six inches worth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that's probably enough. So I'm going to add two more. Chaining 12 here. Again, chain any multiple you want, with uh, two being your divisible number, and then add two at the end in the second chain from the hook. So not this one, that's the first one. This is the second one. Put a single crochet in this, this chain right here. Pull up a loop, yarn over, go through both. That's a single crochet. We're gonna chain one. We're gonna skip a chain and we are going to put a single crochet in that next chain. Chain one. Skip one, single crochet. And before you say we are doing a stitch you're familiar with, this is a little different than the seed stitch. So just gonna chain one, skip one, put a single crochet in the next stitch. We're gonna do that all the way across till we get to the end of our row. End of our row, we should be landing on two chains and then the last one put a single crochet in that one. Okay, chain one and turn your work. 
That is how you start moss stitch, by the way, moss or seed or whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is slightly different. This is a slightly different stitch. So starting on row two, we're going to put a single crochet in this first stitch right here. And we're going to chain one. And normally you think, well, we're going to go into the chain one space. No, we're not. We're going to go over to the single crochet right here, and we're going to put a single crochet in that stitch. And we're going to chain one, go over to the next single crochet, and we're going to put a single crochet in that one. We're going to do that all the way across. In a single crochet in our last stitch here. And that is our repeat. Chain one, turn your work, single crochet in the first stitch. Chain one, single crochet in your previous row, single crochet. Repeat all the way across. Super duper easy. Very, very mindless. So if you have something you're watching on YouTube, TV, whatever, um, this is a great one to work up because you don't have to think a lot. You know what you're doing every single row. So single crochet in that very first stitch, chain one, single crochet in the single crochet, chain one, repeat very easy. Probably one of the most simple things that you can make. And you can make hats and then cinch them up, seam them up and cinch the top. You can do blankets, scarves, cowls, fingerless gloves, anything you want to do flat. And if you want it in the round, you would just seam it up. And if you got adventurous and changed colors every two rows, that would be beautiful as well. If you think it looks weird when I'm going into my last stitch, I typically will go into, instead of going into the single crochet, like this, which, you know, is actually the right way, but I like to go into the chain one. See right here? I like to go into that because it gives your work a, uh, a nicer edge. That's just a personal preference. That is not something you need to do ever. But that is just my preference. I think this would be very beautiful in... Uh, hand-dyed yarn that is speckled. I think that would be super pretty. Let me lay it down so you can take a look at it. So you can see it's different from moss or seed stitch because 
you're not um, shifting your single crochets on the chain one spaces, you're staying in line with your single crochets every single row. So in that aspect, I think this is more interesting and you could get a patterning effect if you want to do, if you wanted to make a Ruana or something that has vertical sort of lines up and down uh, to, you know, it is just more pleasing to the eye that way. This will give you that look. So that is the stitch for February, 2024, paying it forward Friday. This is all I'm doing. I mean, it's just the same thing over and over and I have the blanket. So I just wanted to show you the stitch in something smaller that wasn't so bulky on the screen. So I'll pull my blanket in at the end, give you uh, another look at the stitches in the really large yarn. And thank you so much for watching everyone. I appreciate you. Stay tuned for next week when I bring you this stitch in the round. Take care.